Hey you guys, Mickey here. So, final update for the end of the spring season. I'm about to head out for the summer, so I'm gonna try and be thorough and do a good job because I think I failed to do much updating video-wise and video is, is great, just fun to look back on. I just recently fixed the screen here, so you get a, a nice clean face. Okay, the papaya is new, just random seedlings, kind of see what's going on, some trees. That catalpa was just a uh, single seed, good nitrogen fixture I tied up. That satsuma had a branch that was really leaning because of the vitex pushing on it, but also because it just uh, bent, you know, it was overstaked in the nursery, but it's going to be up right now. Things are growing. Got a cabbage here to take home today. Perfect timing since it's time to go. And um, wild Texas cherry doing its thing already, which is nice. I'll have some of those to harvest today as well. Um, that, that plant, you kind of see it's already spreading towards the front. It's much farther forward than where it was in the past. It was farther up into the trees. So this will be different. This year will be interesting. Over here, got some squash. Yeah, ready to go today. A zephyr, and um, definitely good feedback on putting them in the shade. Um, these plum trees. Well, actually, this one on the left set some fruit. I took it all off. Um, I've been doing a lot of thinning on a lot of citrus that went in. Looks like maybe a little bit of moisture stress starting to show up. It'll be interesting, but they've got a really good nurse tree, that ash, right behind them. <clears throat> so this is a um, kumquat that Danny and I moved pretty late in the spring. Uh, has not been watered once. Will not. Well, other than on transplanting. And um, yeah, we'll see how we did, see if the shade cloth will help it. Um, I did put some seeds in there. There's watermelon. Uh, the little one that took. Probably won't get a fruit out of that, but this plant is taking. I'm excited for that. That's uh, just a Biden with Alba beggar ticks. And there was some sun choke there, and obviously didn't get it all. There's one coming back up. So that'll be interesting. This pepper looks pretty well established. This is one of the earlier plantings. It's uh, mariachi like a serrano. Good hot one. So yeah, I got some squash and tomatoes already on the tour. Check out these. Uh, obviously didn't harvest them. Not that I don't like artichoke, but that, um, I don't know, just wasn't a need. I kind of wanted to see what it would do and watch it through. Uh, it got blown over by a big old rainstorm, but they're really pretty flowers. Uh, finally, the citrus that I don't have to thin. Look at that. That's a Shamuti sweet orange. Set some fruit and it's all staying. Um, Daylilies and comfrey behind. Uh, everything else, I was real excited to see the stevia came back through. So this is its um, second winter to make it through. And it was a nice big old plant that produced quite a bit. Um, same with that dill right in front of us. It's come back year after year and the uh, oregano patch just needs a, a little weeding every once in a while but it's kind of slowly slowly growing the jungle as you can see kind of a redirect right this was going to be a cleaner garden and it's uh it's not you know not sedge go figure right um but there's some good bones in here i'm excited this uh persimmon right here this fuyu it set so much fruit i took it all off I'm um, still thinning on a, on quite a few trees, but i um, real excited for the future. This whole space just dominated, even though there's another, um, there's a citrus right beside it that'll probably get shaded out in the, in the long run. Um, the iris just recently came down with rust. They were really pretty a month ago, really nice. And you see all the may pop coming up. They're going to strangle everything out for the summer. And that is okay, pretty much. Nothing, nothing sacred ever, but um, pretty much everything is going to be okay. There's a little basil there that might, might keep its head a 
you know, he can grow pretty fast, keep his head above the uh, the crowd. So with that lemongrass, yeah, lots of maypop. There was a couple things. There's a pepper straight ahead and, and that little bit of squash. Um, these strawberry plants have been producing pretty well. I just ate one yesterday. They're kind of tucked away. And then the apples are almost there. I ate a, I ate a couple, but um, this was the first year I let it let them all stay and uh, just Dorset Golden. Um, that Chang Shu Kumquat put on a lot of growth this last year, winter really, this last year though, probably another foot. You can see it's kind of, it's strong and established. Um, lots of chamomile, not lots, but I'm going to harvest this plant today and dry it and uh, have some tea and this is all the mint patch. Mint and um, goldenrod have really taken over. That goldenrod, you can see that hard edge, it was actually growing into the mint. And I went and pulled it out. So, finding the balance. That pine tree will help shade it, slow it down. Gosh, what else? What else? The lamb's quarters. We're pretty dry right now, as you can see in the soil. Um, just been getting finally warm and sunny. I do think the uh, transplants are all going to make it. That's one of the big kumquats. Um, here's another wild Texas cherry tomato. New spot for it. I've been eating off of this one. Um, that satsuma has done nothing. And that's one of the earlier plantings. It's uh, probably something I'm going to address this coming fall, winter. And it's probably just because it's on Flying Dragon. And I just didn't know. Um, this is pretty cool. I already have flowers. The uh, Maypop galore over here. It'll be interesting if they cover the wall. Alright, back through the jungle. And yeah, so this is this is like before it's gonna jungleify. <laughs> I'm not cutting anything out, I just don't have time. Um, the mulberry produced great this year. Um, season's over though. Man, were they good. And I do believe that pineapple guava will make it. It has enough cover. And then through here, the peaches have been awesome. I eat probably a half dozen every time I come over. And um, yeah, I'm going to take some with me. And yeah, the bugs weren't too bad in them. So right here, this was obviously blackberry, and it's coming right back. I um. Yeah, well, you know, not frustrated, kind of expected, but um, I'll pull it again in the fall and I'll have all winter to do stuff. Pomegranate blossoms, but I just planted a um, punk and mandarin right behind it, and I do believe it'll have enough shade, hey lizard, um, to make it through the summer. So, carnival apple has gotten uh, the mustard cut away. So I've been hearing lots of tree frogs. They're coming in. I saw one on the agave with my friend Lauren. All right. So back here. This is Haboti Kaba. That's a new one this year. Sunchokes. I actually didn't mean to have a sunchoke, obviously. That's going to mess with it a little bit. I'll uh, pull that out today. There's another um, kumquat transplant. Um, I did a lot of cutting for light for these two trees, the kumquat and the avocado over there, so you see the big branches on the ground. I'm definitely thinking more about the mulberries and um, kind of what I want to get out of them. And this is, those two are both white, but one's better than the other, and some of these are, are males, and so they'll probably get called out, um, but we're going to keep some of the shade for the kumquat since it's going into its first summer. That pond is going in back here in the woods. It's going to be oops, sorry, very uneven terrain, um, but it'll be the uh, third pond of many to come out here, but kind of a little wooded frog pond. It'll kind of change this space. It should be interesting. Um, so yeah, there's the avocado. You can see I kind of cut a hole. Um, definitely took out some big trees 